Hello there, Stephanie Ketterman, the Stock Whisperer, here to tell you the Dark Pool Weekly Whispers. But before we get to this week's Hot Whispers, yeah, let's just go over quickly last week, June 25th. If you had taken all of these whispers, you would have made over 70% ROI. I think that's a record. 27 hit their targets in just five days. Now, I don't expect you to take every single one of them. I mean, who could do that? But pick your favorite stocks. These are specific levels that the dark pool is trading. And as you can see, they're pretty phenomenal. So this week, I have 37 of my favorite that I'm going to run through. Let's just start with the majors. Just go to the SPY. I know a lot of you guys like to trade the SPY. I was trading the SPY this week, really playing print pong off those dark pool levels. But this week, going to watch 273.75. As you can see, the SPY loves to trade off these $1.25 increments. It loves it. So uh, you can see there were sellers there quite a few times. If we can break above that, especially on a close, going to be bullish if you're a swing trader these levels are very specific to closing prices if you're a day trader then absolutely trade off of them so bullish above 273.75 and bearish below 270 and I put all of my targets up there for you let's just go to the IWM IWM we're gonna be bullish above 166 really key level for the Russell um, and we're gonna be bearish below 163 you can see this trend line I've drawn so yeah if we break below especially on a close below that look out below I can see it going down to 162.50 162 and even 160 so key levels to watch let's go to the QQQs QQQs we're going to be bullish above 173.75 there's those dollar 25 levels again and we're going to be bearish below 171.25 now I got to tell you about these enormous prints on the dollar, the USDU, that's a dollar ETF. There's two of them actually, UUP and USDU. Now, if you were following me way back in February, especially at the New York Traders Expo, I was screaming about these prints on the dollar saying we're gonna have a big move soon. It did take a while, but more big prints so every time i've seen big prints on this we've had a big move in the dollar and that does affect gold does affect oil sometimes not always right the dollar and oil have been going up together so again uh watch the levels and just trade the tape you know the market doesn't always make fundamental sense okay so these are the levels for usdu we're going to be bullish above 2680 Big prints have big splashes. I like to wait a couple days. These prints happened a couple days ago. And then I like to move once we move above or below these levels. So bullish above 2680, bearish below 2650. The prints happen at 2663. Now, I'm not gonna actually trade this vehicle. It's very slow, but if you trade Forex, definitely pay attention to these levels. Or if you trade gold, definitely pay attention to these levels. And speaking of gold, let's move to gold. GLD has been phenomenal. We hit that 118, that was my second target. If you recall, we were bearish below 122, we hit the 120, and then 118, which is this trend line, let me just show you that. Mm -hmm. So are we going to hold here and bounce up? Well, gonna be bullish above 119.50 i'd like to clear above the eight exponential moving average my target would be 120 and then 122 the top end of this channel here if we start to move up we did have dark pool activity this week at 118.40 118.50 and 119.38 and i'm going to be bearish if we cannot hold 118 okay then I will turn into uber bear and, and my target will be 116 on the downside but let's go to AU Anglo 
gold Ashanti had unusual prints coming in at uh, eight dollars and nine cents. So I'm going to be bullish. This is a nice, inexpensive gold stock. Bullish above eight twenty, and target would be this upper trend line around eight forty. Going to be bearish below seven eighty. Let me just put that in there. Um, a bearish below eight. Sorry. My target would be 780. Uh, let's go to Barracks. I love this one. I haven't traded this in so long, but guess what we had? Massive 3 million print came in. And this was um, after the closing bell, but a couple hours later, highly unusual, 3 million. I don't usually pay attention to those trades, but this definitely stuck out and we are above 1270 that's where the big 3 million print happened so i'm going to be bullish above 1320 you can see we've been in this channel line and stocks love to just bounce up and down up and down up and down if we can break above this 1320 oh yeah we can get a little parabolic there so i'm going to be bullish above 1320 my first target would be 1350 but of course, I, I love this 200 moving average. Yeah, wherever that is, that's going to be my second target. And I will only be bearish below 1270. Yep, I want that dark pool above if I'm going to go short always. Uh, bearish below 1260. Let's go to GDX. That's a gold miners. So if you like to trade GDX, going to be bullish above 2250, going to be bearish below 2180. It's stuck in this channel. Uh, once it can break out, it's going to have a pretty big move. And let's go to FCX. This was a fantastic trade in the Java pit this week. We had a, a massive, almost 1 million print at 16. Anything bigger than 300,000 shares on FCX is when I love to jump in. So we're gonna be bullish above 1750. That's a pretty big resistance level. If we can break above that, I can see a move to 1787, 18, 1850, and bearish below 17, um, wait, hold on a minute. Bearish below uh, 1687, sorry. A little typo there. Yeah, I, we have to be below uh, below, I'm sorry, 1587, below the print. Yeah, I'm only going to be bearish. Let me just move that. Okay, sorry. All right, if we break below that, look out. So again, I'm looking for a break above that 1750. The first time it tested, there, there's going to be sellers, which there were. Then that second test, if we can break through, that's what we're going to watch. And really this trend line right here, if we could break above that, then I can see an even bigger move to 1875. It's definitely one of my favorite stocks to trade. Always gives us the prints and trades amazing on levels. Okay, let's go to silver. USLV. Let me just uh, change this. Okay, USLV, we had really big prints coming in on this this week. We had 2.3 million at $8.90. We had another million at 9.17, a half million at 9.40. So I'll be bullish if we can clear above all of those prints, bullish above 9.50, and I will only be bearish uh, below $8.80 right there. Those are my two uh, levels for USLV. Now just keep in mind, if that's selling on the dollar, the USDU, then these guys should go up. And I always say should because I have seen the dollar and gold go up together. I know it's pretty rare, but I've seen that. Um, but most of the time when the dollar goes down, the, the gold and silver do go up, okay? But we're gonna follow the prints and the levels always. So let's go to oil. Okay, we had massive, massive prints on oil this week. Very big. We're going to get a big move. So definitely keep your eye. USO, we had 2.4 million at 1501. I'm going to be bullish above 1520. If it's buying, we should have a big uh, parabolic move to the upside. But if it's selling, 
Okay, this could be selling at the top, going to be bearish below 1480. Now, we also had really big prints on DBO, and if you recall, this is what got us into the oil trade on the long side back in February. Massive trades on DBO, so love to watch this when I'm trading oil. I don't necessarily trade DBO, it's slow, okay? But you always want to watch it for oil. You can trade oil futures, you can trade other oil stocks, but follow DBO. Look at this volume spike on June 27th, you guys, bigger than any of these spikes, so you know it's going to move. So how do we trade this? Going to be bullish above 1250, bearish below 1220. We had 16 million, by the way, that came in between $12.34 and $12.44, and it was like 5 million, 6 million, 5 million. Those are the big block trades, so really big. Let's go to the uh, OIH. Yeah, oil sector, ETF. Um, we always get prints on this too when we get moves. So we had a 690,000 share print at 25.54. I'm gonna be bullish above 26.50. Can see there was an up thrust. Yeah, right here. Yeah, that's a white cough up thrust on high volume. They like to break it above a major level. The sellers come in and bang it down. Then you get a retest on lower volume the next day. Yeah, that that's a bearish pattern. However, if we do close above 26.50, I'm gonna go long. And and gonna be bearish below 20. 550. If we do start to break down here, yep, there's a nice trade down to 25 and of course 24. So let's go to 2450 first. Uh, let's go to ECA, another energy stock. We had a lot of big prints on this sector. That's how I know we're going to get a big move. So ECA, we had dark pool at 1335. So I'm going to be uh, bearish below 12.75. I don't really see a, a great upward trade, but if we break below 12.75, definitely bearish for ECA. Rio, Rio Tinto, wow. Ma Look at this volume, you guys. Can you see this? Massive volume coming into Rio Tinto. So we had two big levels. Um, but the biggest level was 55, 5 million. Okay, so gonna be bullish above 56, and I'm gonna be bearish below 54.50. Halliburton, this was a great trade I had in the pit this week. We had a big print on it, uh, 44.99. Yep, back here on June 26, we had a beautiful pop. And it looks like we might test that print. That's a very popular pattern is to retest that dark pool level, actually, which we did, 44.98. We actually closed right on the dark pool. So how are we gonna trade this this week? Well, if they were buying last week and they still wanna buy more, we're gonna be bullish above 46. And if they don't wanna buy anymore, we're gonna be bearish below 44. 50. So uh, really excited to see how this one goes. CLF. Big prints on this one as well. $8.45. We had um, how much we had? 2 million. So I'm going to be bullish above 860. Let me just draw my lines. They kind of disappeared. And I'm going to be bearish on CLF below 8. 37. All right, those are my trades for CLF, and my targets are all um, on this sheet in front of you. So, PBR. PBR is another one. Look at this chart. I love this chart. It's a nice rounded bottom. 10 is a big level, and we have big prints 989, 991, 999. So I'm going to be bullish above 1020. If it's buying, we should break above that 1020 level. 
and I'm going to be bearish below 975. And the last one of these energy stocks, XLE. Love the chart set up as well for this. Had big prints at 7511 and 7640. Pretty wide range. So we're going to be bullish above 7650 and bearish below the big level 75. That's a really big level. If we come down there, computers are not buying. Look at, we'll be, we would be below all those prints and a big level. And then, of course, if we break to the upside, look, the coast is clear on both sides. That's why I love this. So keep your eye on it for sure. All right, let's move on to financials. All right, got just two. Uh, the XLF, which I'm watching, going to be bullish above 27. All right, pretty big level, and I'm going to be bearish below 2650. We had 7 million dark pool between 2659 and 2669. So, we're going to get a big move. And you can see a lot of volume came in last week. So, watch those levels. Bank of America had really big prints on it, 2839 had a million and 28.59 had 2 million, which is like unusual in the middle of the day. So I know there's going to be a big move uh, for BAC. We're going to be bullish above 29.20, bearish below 28. And you know, if it's smart money buying, we break above this 29, then I can see us going to the top of this channel to 30. This is the big level, right? We'd really have to break above that for a big move. But we can't hold this 28 look out below okay so that's what i'm watching for the financials all right let's go to tech we had just a couple on tech applied materials amat we had dark pool at 46.70 so i'm going to be bullish above 47 lots of room to go to the upside and bearish below 45.50 now we already tested 45 once so if we retest that level less buyers so there's a good opportunity for us to go even lower to 44 on that all right but 45 would be my first target uh, microsoft mr softy had a big print 2 million 99.40 so i'm going to be bullish above 100 that's a big 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 level bearish below 97.50 that's this trend line right yeah going all the way back yeah if we can't hold that look out below okay let's go to emerging markets fxi china big prints on china six million between 4204 and 4315 it's had a big crushing downward move so i'm only going to be bullish above 4350 and bearish below 42. Watch this high volume doji. If we close above the high 43.16, that's usually bullish. If we close below the low 42.80, bearish. But these are the key levels that I've mapped out for you as well. We had big prints on ILF, very unusual. You can see the big volume spike here. Latin America uh, ETF second i just misspelled that okay i'm going to be bullish above 30 and bearish below 29 25 for ilf we had big dark pull between 29 29 and 29 60 so a lot of room to the up and downside on that that's why i like that one and iemg Oops, that's emerging market ETF. You can see really big volume has been coming in. That's usually a big move coming. Going to be bullish above 53 and bearish below 52. Let's go to telecommunications. AT&T spectacular trade uh, in the pit this week. Watch this 32.50 level. If you recall, that was a big level from back here. That was in the whisper that got us into this big trade. Well, guess what? Still a big level. We went right there before we're tracing back. So going to be bullish only above 32.50, bearish below 31.75.
And we had huge prints on Sprint this week. Um, 1.4 million at 5.43, so I'm going to be bullish above 5.50 and bearish below 5.37. Now let's go to the bonds. I told you guys we're going to have a big bond movement. We had those massive prints that have been coming in, and wow, TLT hit both of our targets, 122, 122.50. So I still love this above 122.50. All right, that's going to be a key level. Only if it breaks below 120.75 will I turn bearish on that. LQD had big prints this week. And I'm going to be bullish above 115. That's going to be resistance. Um, that was last week's target. And next week, if we can break this week, if we can break above 115, 115.50. Let's go to VTV. This is an ETF. Top holdings, Microsoft, JP Morgan, Exxon, Mobile, JNJ, BAC, Intel, Wells Fargo, CVX, United Health, and uh, Berkshire Hathaway, VTV. Big prints came in, and we're going to be bullish above 105, and we're going to be bearish below 103. As you can see, those are the purple lines I drew. We had big prints on Merck. I don't like to trade these biotech pharmaceutical stocks. I highly recommend you use options always. We never know what drugs might get rejected, approved, disapproved. Uh, so there's always more risk, and I need to tell you that. And I'll only trade options on it. But if we can break above 61.50, that's bullish. If we can break below 60, that would be bearish for MRK. Uh, we had three million. That's why it's on my list. Three million at sixty dollars and sixty-five cents. Let's go to PayPal. Cha-ching. We had big prints on PayPal. Uh, five hundred thousand at ninety-two oh. I'm sorry, not at ninety-two oh four. Um, eighty-two oh four. Little typo there. Eighty-two oh four. And we're moving higher. That's bullish. If you're not in this already, I'm bullish above 83.50 this week. And I'm only going to be bearish below the prints, below 82. Let's go to uh, AABA, which is actually formerly known as Yahoo. Um, and we had big prints on this, 3 million at 73.10. So I'm going to be bullish above 74, bearish below 72.50. The next stock, XLP. I love XLP. This is the Consumer Staples ETF. And we had very big dark pull activity uh, between $51.67 and $51.91. You can see the big volume spikes this past week. Going to be bullish above 52. Going to be bearish below 51. And last but not least, MGM Grand. We had big prints on this at uh, $28.53 and $29.10. And I love this because there's a lot of room to the upside above $29.50. $30 will be the first target we'll usually pull back. And then if we can break above that, $30.50. And then on the downside, bearish below $28.50. If we cannot hold this level, you know, look out below there. So there you have it. Those are the Dark Pool Weekly Whispers. Until next time, happy trading.